Hi everyone, I'm Mallory with Agnes and Dora by West Main. Um, I just wanted to come on and do a quick um, 10 month update. I know in the beginning we did a few YouTube videos and then life and Agnes and Dora got really crazy and busy and so um, we never really came back on and did an update and so I thought that this would be a good time to kind of recap because I definitely want to do one again at the year mark. Um, so one sort of noticeable change is that um, West Main started out as a partnership and it is no longer so um, we decided that it would be best if I continued on doing this by myself. Um, it was definitely not a negative situation by any means. Um, it's just this business is definitely not for everyone and um, it's a lot of time and a lot of work and you really have to want to do it and you really have to like doing it. Um, so especially for me, um, I do this as like a side gig. Um, I work full time as well. And so this is for me um, more of a fun thing outside of my regular career. So to do anything that's gonna take more time away from my kids um, definitely has to be something that, you know, I really love to do so um, that's sort of big bullet point number one um, Agnes door has changed a good bit since we started um, we got our kit the week before Christmas um, in 2016 which was not a great time to be getting your kit because obviously everyone is in the middle of holidays um, as were we and then on top of that you're at the end of sort of that retail season where everyone's done spending money and needs a break from spending money for a while so uh, nobody's really looking to be shopping um, at that time but even um, regardless of that we still did well um, in January and February and March is where we really uh, started to kind of hit momentum and things started to pick up a good bit. So um, when we first started with Agnes and Dora, the model, the business model was still very much on headquarters and was still very much having a stock number of styles that they were just running new fabrics and prints through. Um, that has kind of morphed into more of a traditional boutique mentality where we're constantly getting new styles. Um, they're still keeping the baseline popular styles, the ruffle tunic and the curie dress, um, and still giving us beautiful new prints in those things. But on top of that, we're getting brand new styles all the time, which is great. Um, we are able to run, like I said, more like a traditional boutique, which makes it a lot of fun and um, keeps everything really fresh and new and exciting. Um, so that is a big change, but for us that was definitely a big, big change for the better because we loved all the new stuff that was coming out. So um, I, it, it took a... Uh, it took a few months to sort of get my groove of where, what inventory number I sort of felt comfortable with, what inventory number worked well. Um, personally, I like to stay on the lower end inventory wise because I like to constantly be filtering in new stuff. I like to just keep turning it turning my inventory around and bringing new stuff in and always having new stuff and so for me that's easier to do if my all-around number is just a little bit smaller um, I also am really big
big on in-home parties. And so um, if my inventory gets too big, it becomes very cumbersome to pack all that up, pack it in my car, load it, unload it, reload it. Um, and I'm in Louisiana and it's really hot still, even in October. So um, I'm kind of at a good, nice, comfortable spot. But that took some figuring out. It was definitely a learning curve um, and a process to sort of get to this point. Um, I do want to say that I feel like it's a very common misconception that you start a business like this and you get your kid in and suddenly you have people knocking your door down because they want the clothes and it's like insta business and you, there's just money falling down on you. Um, that's not the case. Uh, the clothes don't sell themselves. You actually have to put forth effort behind it. Um, Agnes and Dora, especially being a lesser known company in my area, um, I've had to do a lot of work in just educating people on the brand and introducing people to the brand. It's not something that most people in my area have ever even heard of. So um, I don't mind that. I like, I like introducing people to it and I like getting people hooked on it and um, but it's definitely something to consider it's not you know gap everybody doesn't know what Agnes Dora is yet and so um, being in a company this early on is you know that's one of the challenges that you have to be ready to accept um, so at first it was more difficult than I thought to get hostesses. I think that direct sales as a whole just sort of have a negative connotation um, right now. And, and the word party sounds daunting and like a lot of work to a lot of people. And so it took a while for us to get some people, get that ball rolling, get the parties rolling. And um, kind of once we broke through that, it was like we were booking every weekend. Um, once people realize how nice and convenient it is to have a boutique be set up in their house and they can sit on their couch and shop with their friends in their home. Um, I had so many ladies say, you know, this is so fun, like I'm shopping on my couch with my friends. And um, and that's really the message that I try to per, like portray to people is this isn't a sales demonstration. I'm not coming to do a presentation. I'm literally bringing my boutique to your house and setting it up for you and your friends to shop. It is that simple, easy, fun, amazing. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work. Um, it's been a slower process than I expected. Um, but a lot of learning along the way. But um, definitely worth it. I'm still here. I'm still doing it with my full-time job and my two toddlers. So it's doable. Um, you just have to realize and accept that it's not always easy. Um, I think that this is my first experience in direct sales and so um, yeah, it's very much like a roller coaster. You're high one day, you're low the next day. Ten minutes later you have a sale on your website come through that you have no idea, you know, you weren't expecting your backup at the top. So um, there's a lot of that going on as well just be prepared for that um, and again my background isn't in sales to begin with so this is all this was all new territory for me um, but you know a lot of good life lessons I'm learning through this 
So um, I'm excited to finish off my first full year with Agnes and Dora. I cannot believe that it's already been that long. Um, it's gone really quick. I did attend convention over the summer, which um, I, was, I wasn't hesitant about, but um, sort of, just because you don't know what to expect. I've never been to anything like that before, but so glad that I went. I met some amazing people. It was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm just, I'm excited to see where this company is going. I am excited from where I started to where I am now. Things are great. And so, um, that's it. So I really just wanted to come and give an update. I know sometimes I follow people on YouTube and then they sort of fall off the planet and you're like, what happened to that person and how are they doing now? And so I just wanted to come do a quick update and hopefully... I will be back for my one year update and I have a bunch of videos in mind. It's just to find the time to get in front of the camera when I'm not doing a live sale, which I just finished one. That's why I was like, I'm going to do this right now because I'm already set up. I'm already ready, you know, for a video. So anyway, um, if you have any questions about Agnes and Dora, um, need any help want to join my Facebook group I will leave all of the information in the down bar and that's it so um, I will talk to y'all later bye